Hi there, I'm going to be talking today about how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Um, we've been factoring for some time now, and now we're going to actually put it to a little bit of use. So we have a quadratic equation here. Um, we have been working with quadratic expressions up until now. Basically, the difference between an expression and an equation is with an expression, there's no equal sign. So this right here is an expression, and this right here is an equation because we have an equal sign here. Now that I have my quadratic um, equation, I can factor my expression, and we can solve, and we can find out what x is using the same methods that we've been practicing in class. So, first thing I want to do, since there's no number that divides 2, 15, and 7 other than 1, I want to start by multiplying 2 times 7. So I've multiplied those, and I got 14. Now I want to find a pair of factors that adds to 15. So we should see here that 1 and 14 is the pair we want because 1 plus 14 gives us our middle term, 15. So we split up the 15x into 1x plus 14x, and then I'm going to bring down my 2x squared and my 7. Now we pair up um, in parentheses just like we've been doing before. And we factor out our greatest common term. So there's no number other than one that'll divide both two and one, but we should remember with our first parentheses, we always can factor out an x, because there's an x in both of our terms here. So I put my x out front, and I divide both of these previous terms by x. So x squared divided by x is x, so I now have 2x. And 1x divided by x is just 1. With the second parentheses over here, we can divide both of these by 7. So the 7 goes out in front of the parentheses, and I divide by 7, and I should get 2x plus 1 when I divide by 7. Now, I've been neglecting my equals 0. So make sure you bring that down and don't forget about it. Our next step was the final answer when we were solving these previously. So we have our two parentheses. Like so. So you should remember the first parentheses is what was the same in both. And the second parentheses was what was in front. So we've got 2x plus 1, we've got x plus 7, but we still have our equals 0. Up until here, everything that we've been doing has been the same as it has been in class so far. Now this is the part that's a little bit different, but this is also um, very easy compared to what you've just done. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two and set each one equal to 0. So I'm going to have 2x plus 1 equals 0, and then I'm going to have x plus 7 equals 0. So I'm going to solve both of these out for x. With the first one here, I'm going to start by subtracting 1. So I get 2x equals negative 1, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So when I do that, I get x equals negative 1 half. That's my first answer. Over here, this is much simpler. I've got just a one-step 
um, subtracting 7 from both sides. So I have two answers here. I've got x equals negative 1 half, and I have x equals negative 7. And we get two answers for our final solution here.